What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tip for you. So in today's video, I wanna talk about the difference between softening and smoothing edges and how you can use this in your SketchUp models. If you're looking for more great SketchUp tips, make sure you check out my free best SketchUp tips guide at thesketchupessentials.com slash tips. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So I wanted to talk about that because I think there's a little bit of confusion about there about a little bit of confusion out there about the way that this works and I also just wanted to go through how this can be important for you. So to start off we need to understand the basics of how geometry is created in SketchUp. So like for example when you have a curved surface like let's say that we were to draw just like a flat cylinder like this or we were to draw a cylinder like this. Um, when you have a surface like this one this surface looks like it's curved but in reality there are no curved surfaces in SketchUp. There are just a series of flat surfaces that basically simulate a curved surface. And you can see this by going up to view and turning on your hidden geometry. You can see how when you turn on your hidden geometry, you see that when this cylinder gets extruded, it extrudes a number of flat edges based on the number of segments in this circle. So like for example, if I was to come in here and draw a circle with, let's say 48 sides instead of uh, 24, and then push pull this, you can see how we still have a cylinder in here. If you turn your hidden geometry off, these look really similar. But if you actually look at the hidden geometry, you can see how this is just made up of more faces than this one because the circle that I created it from had more edges. And so another thing to note about this is let's say we were to draw a 24-sided circle. And before we extruded this, we were to explode the curve that makes up this edge and then push pull it. You can see how SketchUp doesn't automatically soften and smooth these edges like it does over here. So this is another thing to be aware of if you're trying to create different kinds of geometry or things like that. So now that you have an idea of how these faces are made up, now let's talk a little bit about what you can do about this. And so the first thing I wanna do is let's start with something really simple. Like let's say we created a box like this one. I'm going to take these faces, I'm going to reverse them. But if I look at this right now, you can see how this is made up of four different boxes and they're split by these edges. Well, as of right now, these edges are just in here as normal edges. But what we could do is we could do what's called softening them. And so softening an edge, it means that you select an edge and it's basically like hiding an edge inside of SketchUp, meaning that it's still there, um, but you can't see it. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn hidden geometry back off for a second. And so what I've done is I've selected these four edges. Well, if I was to come in here and I could click the button for soft, you can see how now, even though this face, if I was to triple click to get all the connected geometry, has these edges on it, these don't show up because they've been softened. And so when you soften an edge, it basically means that you can't see it in SketchUp unless you turn on hidden geometry. So you can see how that makes up this face inside of SketchUp. And so like for example, on all of these edges that were in this cylinder that I created, if I was to do a shift click and select multiple different edges, you can see how all of them right now are softened. And so when I select them and I go up in my entity info section, you can see how the box for soften has been checked. And so like for example, let's say I wanted to bring these four back and separate these three faces. Since I just have edges selected, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna uncheck the box for soft. Well now, if I was to turn hidden geometry off, you can see how because these edges are now no longer um, softened, SketchUp no longer merges the faces. So you can see how around this edge that face remains merged, but over here these are suddenly um, individual faces. And so now, if you wanted to, you could come in and you could push pull those, you could do different things with those. So you can use this to get the geometry that you need in order to create more complex things. So you can see how you can take edges and you can soften them to make them invisible. You can go to your hidden geometry and select them and you can unsoften them to bring them back. And so the other thing I wanna talk about is the smooth function. So we talked about soften a little bit. There's also another box that you can check in there called smooth. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to create a couple different cylinders real quick. So I'm going to take this cylinder, I'm going to make a copy, I'm going to type in times two and hit the enter key. So now we have three of these cylinders. And I'm going to turn hidden geometry off for a second. So when you look at these 
cylinders, you can see how these all have, or these all look like fairly smooth faces. Well, part of the reason for that is because if you were to take this hidden geometry and you were to select it, you can see how not only is the box for soften checked, but also the box for smooth is checked. And so I'll, let's talk about what that does. And so part of the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to use an extension called Selection Toys in order to quickly select only the edges in this object. And uh, you don't have to use Selection Toys, but I will link to it in the notes down below. I find it to be one of the more useful extensions, and I really like having it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these, probably the one on the end, and I'm going to select only the edges, and I'm going to unsoften the edges. And then on this one, I'm going to select only the edges, and I'm going to uncheck the box for smooth. And so now, if we turn off our hidden geometry, we can take a look at what that did. So while softening edges makes them invisible, it actually makes a change to the actual geometry itself. The smooth function affects the way that SketchUp renders the geometry that's been merged together. So like for example, if you look at this one in the middle, you can see how you can clearly see some of the individual faces that are in this object. So you can see like this flat face and this flat face and this flat face but you can't actually see or select the edges made it, making up this edge. And that's because all of these edges in here, if I was to triple click, you can see how those have been softened but not smooth. Where over here, if we were to look at the same thing and select only our edges, you can see how soften and smooth have been checked. So because of that, what SketchUp is trying to do is SketchUp is trying to render this face smoothly. So you can see how we're over here, you can clearly see these individual edges. Over here, SketchUp is kind of merging these together visually, so it's rendering these so this looks like a smooth face. So when you check the box for smooth, and we can try that over here. We'll take these three, we'll mark them as soft but not smooth, and then we'll take these three, and we'll both soften and smooth them. You can see how if I was to rotate around, you can see how while on this one, I can see the individual faces. Over here, because I've softened and smoothed the edges, SketchUp is showing this as a smooth face. And so the other thing that I want to note about that, though, is you do have to be a little bit careful. So sometimes, and I'm going to explode the curve on the top of this real quick, if you were to uh, mark this edge as softened and smooth, like this, you get kind of a weird result because this face is supposed to look separate from this face down here. And so when you mark the um, when you mark the edge splitting this face from this face as smooth, you can see how all of a sudden you don't see a clear delineation between the top of this object and the face of this object anymore. So if I was to go back into my hidden geometry, just select these edges and uncheck the box for soft or smooth, you can see how now you get a clear delineation between this top face and the edges over here. And so the last thing I want to talk about is really quickly softening and smoothing a lot of edges. Because right now, let's say that we had a face, we'll call it something like this right here. Let's say we wanted to come in here and we wanted to soften all of these edges to make this whole face look like just an uninterrupted face. You could definitely come in here and uh, triple click to select everything. You could use selection toys to only select the edges and then you could go ahead and mark those as soft and smooth and that would definitely work but there's a faster way to do that and that's using a tool that's built into SketchUp called the Soften Edges Toolbar over here in the tray. And so to use the Soften Edges Toolbar in the tray, first of all if you don't see it you can go to Window, Default Tray and um, make sure show tray has been checked and make sure soften edges is shown. This will look different on a Mac. I think on a Mac you just load a menu that just floats around out here, but it works the same way. I mean, basically the way that this works is if you select this face like this one, you can see how this little slider lights up and you can use the slider you can drag it back and forth in order to quickly soften and smooth different edges. And one thing you're going to notice if you do this is occasionally you get some edges like these that don't soften. And so what you can do for that is you can click the button for Soften Coplanar. Once you click the button for Soften Coplanar, you can see how those edges get softened as well. So that's a quick, easy way to soften all of the edges inside your object.
And then one other feature about this that I want to talk about real quick is you can actually use this on something like this. Like let's say you had a road coming through here or something like this. Well, if we were to turn on our hidden geometry and let's say we wanted a road to run between these two lines. Well, what you could do is you could come in here and you can unsoften the edges for these two lines. Well, now that you've done that, you've now split this face up into different faces. Well, now what you could do is you could come in here and let's say that we had like a gravel material or something like that. You could put gravel right here. Then you could put grass on the two edges like this. So you could use this to split up faces like this complex one right here in order to be able to apply materials to them in different ways. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Did you know these things about softening and smoothing geometry? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.